back to AZ Astro, so I had to move my stuff over here into a spare bedroom because my room just doesn't have enough room to be able to unbox this and actually show you guys. So I'm in one of my spare bedrooms. Uh, so I got this package today. This is quite possibly the most exciting package I have got since I started astronomy. And I couldn't wait to open it. Uh, it was supposed to come in uh, tomorrow. And then I was going to make the video and then upload it on the first. But since it came in a day early, I'm just going to make the video and upload it today. Uh, I figured my last video, you know, a nod to all my favorite photographs I've taken throughout this year. I assume that was going to be my last video, but looks like an unboxing is going to be my last video. So let me get the camera a bit closer to the package so you guys can see me open this. So I'll be right back. All right, so this is the Skywatcher EQ6R. Got my nice little X-Acto knife. Uh, this is the EQ6R. It's one of the... This is the telescope mount that I wanted since I started astrophotography, or that I wanted since I bought the Celestron C-Gem that this is replacing. And that was about three, three years ago when I actually started to use the C-Gem to take photos. I bought it about five years ago, used it a couple times, and then kind of put it in a closet for a year, year and a half, and then started using it about three years ago. That's when I really got into it. But for the last three years, I, this is the mount that I've been wanting, and I've finally been able to get it. So, let's get it open. And a little tip to everybody. When using something sharp, like a knife, or anything like that, always cut away from yourself. Never cut towards yourself. All right. Hope you guys can see that. So, there we go. Right off the bat, we get the instruction manual. I'll take a look at that later. No reason for me to do that on camera. And then you get this nice styrofoam right here. And another uh, point that I have for you guys is try not to destroy this box, especially if you don't have a case to carry your mount in, because this box serves as a great carrying case, because it already has all the cutout styrofoam and everything in it. All right, so let me see if I can't get you guys a little bit closer so you can actually see everything inside the box. And focus you up. That should be good. All right, so first things first, right off the bat, we got this bag. These, I believe, are the set, or not set screws, but the screws that you use to adjust the different axes and stuff. So we've got three of those. Set those over there. And then next up is, ah, this is the hand controller strap. Ooh, I actually like that. So one of my problems with the hand controller straps is they snap onto the telescope leg, which I don't like. This one actually Velcros around the leg which I think is a great, great idea. So I might actually use this one. And then over here, we've got the different cables. Not quite sure what this is used for, but I'll figure it out. And then this is the power cable. And I actually bought a, uh, a DC to AC converter so that I can use this with my with my power supply in the backyard. So I've already got that taken care of. And then here's the, oh, okay, I get it now. This is the hand controller. I'm not used to that because my Celestron C-Gem, the hand controller wasn't a plug and play. It was permanently into the hand controller. So I wasn't used to seeing the cord 
not permanently affixed to the hand controller. So there's that. Let me move you guys up just a little bit so I don't have to stretch so far to show you guys stuff. There we go. A little bit more room. All right, so that was the hand controller. And then Allen wrench screws, obviously for different things that I'll figure out. And then this is a, looks like a 3.5 millimeter to 2.5 millimeter cable. Not sure what that's for either, but we'll figure it out. Uh, by the way, fun fact, this is actually the first brand new mount I have ever purchased or opened. Every mount that I have, my AVX and my CGM, were both used, so I didn't get an unboxing experience when opening those. So this is kind of exciting. And then this, I'm assuming, is the counterweight bar. This is what it feels like. Lots of paper. Yep, so that's the counterweight bar. And if I am correct, I'm not quite sure, but I'll find out once I use the telescope. I'm pretty sure once this is attached, it just slides right up into the body of the telescope to, to move the telescope, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. All right, so that is all the accessories. So time for the actual mount itself. So one of the things that I like about this mount is it has this handle right here to be able to carry it with because this is an extremely heavy mount. All right, so go ahead and lock that. A little bit of oil down there. There's a little bit of oil on the underside of the mount, which that's okay. I guess it's not a big deal. Oh, so I guess that's uh, so it looks like right here we actually already have the counterweight bar. So maybe that's the smaller counterweight bar. That's pretty cool. You guys can see it. So you have your different ports right there. So the auto guide port, which I will probably never use. Uh, the hand controller port, I'll barely ever use because I'll be hooking up to this USB port right here. That's the main way that I'm going to be doing it. And then uh, this is the snap port. I've never figured out what that means. I don't know what snap means. Maybe you guys can tell me or I'll find it in the instruction booklet. So that... Jeez, this thing's heavy. <laughs> so that's the Skywatcher mount. And then on this side, it's really nice as you have this right here to tell you your, uh, not declination, I think your RA. And then one of the other reasons that I actually bought this mount is because it has, underneath these, it has belts instead of, instead of gears. I much prefer belts. They're easy to replace. And then, so that's the whole mount. So I'll get it put back into the box and then I'll open up the tripod because might as well. All right, so now we have the tripod, which apparently is just as heavy as a freaking mount. At least it feels like it. Yay, a box inside a box. So we've got, I don't think you guys can see them, but we've got these two boxes. Let me move this over. We got these two boxes right here on the side. They feel like the counterweights. I'm almost positive that's what they are. So 
I'm just going to open one up. Yeah, so these are the counterweights. So as far as I know, I get two of them and they're 11, 11 pound counterweights, I believe. Never had a brand new counterweight either. <laughs> so there's the counterweight. Got two of those, one on the other side. And I'll just pull the other side out really quick. Don't need to show you guys, it's the same exact thing. See? All right, now, Time for the actual tripod. All right, so here's the leg spreader. Tripod itself. Get the bag off of it. So it looks like it's identical. Yeah. Yep, it looks identical pretty much to the Celestron C-Gem one with the screw underneath that screws into the mount and then the bar right there so it looks identical to the C-Gem so there we go that's my uh, Skywatcher EQ6R Pro now all that's left is to start using it so if you guys enjoyed that unboxing I know it tired me out now I'm sweating <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed that unboxing I've got uh, several other videos that you guys might enjoy. Uh, so I will see you guys next time. If you enjoyed that, then like and subscribe to my channel and I'll have more stuff coming up in uh, 2021. I'm hopefully going to be doing several more videos than I did this year. So I look forward to seeing you guys there.